I know you probably can't tell, but um, all of my woodworking equipment has been shoved to one side of the garage here. I'm trying to make room for a new project that is going to more than likely take about a year. Hopefully that's all it takes. I don't know. I'm charting new ground here for myself. This is what it is right here. So my wife and I decided to buy an old beat up 1968 Volkswagen Beetle. So I figure what I'd do today is kind of go over what I've got and how much work I think is going to go into restoring this. I think I'm going to try to take it back to factory look. You know, I'm not going to use like OEM parts and all that. But I'm gonna, I want it to look pretty factory. So, <clears throat> let me get set up here and I will uh, go do a walk around and show you all the things, all the features that this particular model has, and then all of the things that I see that needs repair. I figure I'd start in the engine bay. This is a 1600 cc dual port engine and I really don't yet know what that means um, but that's what I've been told I could be wrong as well we'll find out as I work on it <clears throat> believe it or not this actually runs and uh, it was run for me before I bought the whole car the reason why I'm not able to drive this currently is because they fuel tank is not connected to the engine. The fuel lines are rotted out. Um, so I am going to um, try it out. I'm going to put a temporary gas tank onto this guy and see if I can't drive it around. The brakes are good. Um, the wheels are good. Everything turns. You know, the brakes work really well. The Shifter shifts. I believe the the clutch is free. So all that stuff is good Mostly what we're dealing with here is cosmetic stuff <clears throat> It's pretty mechanically sound besides the issue with the fuel lines um, So we're looking at cosmetic issues As you can see faded paint Missing trim This Beetle has been in a couple of wrecks. This front corner here was in a wreck. It actually pushed the spare tire up into the gas tank. So I'll probably have to replace that gas tank. <clears throat> we have, as far as collision damage around the back as well, this rear driver's side was in some sort of an accident and the bumper bracket is kind of pushed up into the the hole for on the fender there. <clears throat> the previous owner attempted to remove the rear apron and he ended up mangling it. Uh, regardless, uh, I think as a result of that previous damage, you can see it. There's like a ton of Bondo kind of holding this together. This wasn't really repaired right. And uh, so I'll be replacing that. Just see your normal dents and dings, you know, along <clears throat> the whole portion of the car. But believe it or not, even though it does look rough, it is very solid. I guess I should go over the rust next. <clears throat> you know, these are notorious for rusting out <clears throat> pretty bad. And this one has only has two rust issues that I'm aware of so far. So right here in the heater box just in this one spot there's rust. It's blown out. Um, this whole heater box may actually have to be replaced now that I look at it. I gotta remove the the, uh, the running boards to get a good assessment. <clears throat> and then back here behind the tire Um, just this is a normal, a usual spot as well. All right, let me get a light on that for you. There you go. 
So that's uh, blown out as well, right there, inside the wheel well. As far as the interior goes, <clears throat> the carpet, the door cards, pretty much all of the interior is trashed. The driver's side um, seat doesn't doesn't want to go forward, so that'll that should that should just be an easy repair on the mechanism. The it has the nice pop out rear windows, so that's a nice little added bonus. Somebody <clears throat> mangled the dashboard to put an aftermarket stereo in. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. I'm pretty sure there's probably a repair panel or I might be able to repair that myself. All of the window gaskets are just cracked and disintegrating. So they will all have to be replaced, obviously. The battery tray is actually solid, which is a surprise. So up here under the back seat everything is, looks pretty solid. The headliner is destroyed along with you know the rest of the interior upholstery. There we go, we got some duct tape covering up a hole here for some reason. I don't know what that hole is for. You got your, here's your life hack here, you use a green garden hose to drain your air box. Um, I guess there may have, there should have been a piece of rubber there that probably has long since disintegrated. A little nervous about some loose wires up here. I'm sure I'll figure all that out eventually after I go through this wire harness. You know the glass is all really good and it's all original. Um, you know this it's all VW glass except for the windshield and I'm a little frustrated because somebody I was checking out the windshield it's got a huge you know scratch here somebody ran the wiper blades without well ran the wipers without blades in it and so it just scraped up against the glass and so this windshield's ruined. Luckily new windshields for these aren't that expensive and it's probably the least of my worries. So even though it looks like a disaster, overall I'm pretty satisfied with this, especially for the price that I got it. And it's gonna take some money and a whole lot of time to get her back where she belongs. You know, we got the, the handles punched in here on the hood, or, and then uh, you know, in the paint, but it's just the paint is terrible. It was, it's been repainted several times. The hood is actually a replacement because the the red paint has flaked off and revealed some like a navy blue paint underneath. If you kind of look at some of the wear spots, you can kind of see how many times this car has been repainted. Along here, you see two layers of primer and two layers of paint. Up here on the door frame, you see several layers on the very top coat of different varying um, hues of red paint and then some primer and some paint underneath that. So like many cars of this age it has just been a victim of mistreatment <clears throat> and poor stewardship. Most of this bug is original um, I think all the parts are original, even though this hood has been replaced once. This uh, appears to be a replacement off of an original bug. So I'm going to try to do my best to keep it as original, save as many of the original parts as I can. Um, some parts I won't be able to do that. It's almost as if they just gave up on the last paint job and painted directly over like the the uh, beading that goes between the fenders and and they they painted over some of the chrome trim and on some of the uh, rubber. So there's it's no wonder that the paint is just kind of 
peeling off in chunks here. More paint where paint does not belong. Bumper seals. It's like they attempted to mask it but didn't completely mask it. So I definitely got my work cut out for me. Compounded by the fact that I really don't know what I'm doing. So that's kind of how I like to do things though. I learned by jumping in with both feet. Uh, there's a lot of uh, good resources out there, especially on YouTube, for body work and for VW engine work, so I'm not too concerned about that. I am a little concerned about the body work, it just seems um, like I'm going to have a hard time straightening out a lot of this stuff. I'm probably going to buy several repair panels and um, kind of do those things the right way. So this video series about my restoration of the VW Bug is probably not going to be a step-by-step -step type of thing. I'll film progress as it happens and I may do like progress updates but I don't think I'm going to be able to have the time to film every single step of the way and it's definitely not going to be a how-to. Um, I just create it so you can come along with me on the journey you can maybe learn from my mistakes and possibly also um, see me have some success along the way as well. All input will be appreciated. Um, hopefully some of you that are uh, VW enthusiasts will be watching this and also will be able to help answer some questions or point out things that maybe I haven't noticed um, while I was doing my inspection of the car. So the first thing I'm going to do with this car is I'm going to try to get it uh, running and driving. I'm going to just use a, some type of an external gas tank to get it going. And just make sure that the transmission is good and everything. And, um, and I think the next appropriate step after that is just taking this thing apart as far as I can take it. And uh, making an inventory of everything I'm going to keep and then taking an inventory of everything I'm going to have to order. So I will uh, end this video here. If, uh, if you are interested in uh, keeping track of the progress of this build, just let me remind you one more time, this is going to take a long time. I suggest you subscribe and, and hit the notification uh, bell and then you'll be notified when new videos come out. And they may not all be about this bug, but you can easily ignore the ones that aren't about the bug if that's not what you're interested in, but still be notified when, when bug videos come out. So thanks to everybody for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one.